Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and I'm on a self-improvement journey which starts with me losing 169 pounds. In this video, I'm going to show you that it's possible to diet while on vacation. I am going on vacation this weekend and I'm so excited, but going on vacation has made me really think about my diet. Now, I've been doing really good with my paleo diet for about three to four months now, and having this vacation is kind of intimidating because I'm worried about sticking with my diet. On vacation, it's so easy to get derailed completely. A lot of people go on vacation and just stop their diet, and then it's really hard to get back on. Or you can have a huge setback by cheating the whole week, and gaining a whole bunch of weight back and then having to start quite a ways back from where you were. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how best to stick with your diet and exercise during vacation and I will bring you guys along with, on my vacation to show you how well I do. So let's get into it. I'm leaving on Saturday, today is Thursday. So one of the most important things to do if you're gonna go on a vacation is to plan ahead. It's so essential because you wanna make sure you have the right foods at the right time. So I'm personally flying, I'm flying from Texas, which is where I live, to North Carolina, which is where my vacation is. And I'm going to visit my family. A lot of my family is meeting there, but my dad actually lives there. So I will be staying in his house and have a kitchen, so that's great. So number one thing that's important to do is let everybody know that you're going on vacation with that you are on a diet. Let them know what the diet is. Let them know what your restrictions are. This is so great because if your family and friends really support you through this journey, they're going to support you on this vacation. And like with my family, we all have a night where we each cook. So I let everyone know ahead of time, hey, I'm on this diet, I can't have bread, I can't have dairy, I can't have um, soy. So I'm hoping that they are going to cook something in the realm of my diet so that I can have meals every night and be okay. The next tip that I have is to prep snacks for your flight or your first day of your trip. Now, airports or airplanes are not going to have paleo-friendly snacks, and it's important to bring your own food so that you are not hungry on the day that you leave. So I picked out these Paleo Morning Glory muffins. They're packed with nutrients, which is a great way to get those in first thing in the morning, and they're super easy to take along with you on your trip, and airlines let you bring in your own snacks. I'm going to show you guys now how I prepped these muffins. at the Dallas airport and I just want to show you guys what snacks I brought so that you know what I prepped. So here they are. Okay, this is so sad because my muffins are destroyed but I'm sure they'll still be okay. I also brought apple slices with some cashew butter. I got these freeze dried banana snacks. Some olives on the go. And finally, some Chomps these sticks. These are perfect because they're paleo friendly. So I actually think I probably brought too much, but it's better to over prepare and have the leftovers than be hungry. All right, I'll see you guys when it gets to North Carolina. Hey 
Hey guys, finally made to North Carolina here having a beer with my dad. So, the next tip is to plan your cheat days strategically. Normally I do mine Friday night and Saturday, but since I'm on vacation, I'm doing mine today and tomorrow. So, see you guys later. My next tip is to check out cool places to exercise when you're on vacation. This place looks so cool. It is along a river and I'm super excited to check it out. My next tip is to focus on your experiences. Don't think about what you're missing out from food or drinking. Just enjoy your family and enjoy having a great time. If you guys go out to eat with your family, make sure you look up the menu before you head out. You can usually find all menus online and you can look up what food they have and what food will be diet friendly for you. It's way easier to decide beforehand, I'm going to pick this because I know it will follow my diet versus waiting until you get to the restaurant when you're hungry and you're going to be very tempted to pick what sounds good versus what will actually fit in your diet. It's okay to miss exercise during vacation if you are participating in active activities. These are typically way longer than you would actually work out and you could possibly burn more calories. Things you wouldn't even think of, like riding this raft, jet skiing, or swimming are all great ways to exercise and burn calories while on vacation. I just got back from my trip and it was so much fun. But the one thing I realized and my final tip for you guys is to not set the expectation to be perfect. There's gonna be so many times on your trip when you're tempted and you feel like you're missing out because you're not eating and drinking what everyone else is. And it just made me decide in the end after all the stress of having to be perfect that I was just gonna enjoy myself. And I'm so glad I did. I really tried hard to be active and to eat better, but I wasn't worried about being super strict on my diet. And in the end, I had a really great time. So my version of success was to either lose or stay the same. And I ended up going from this to this. And that's a gain of 0.8 pounds. So honestly, I'm good with that. Like I know it's still a gain, but it's so little and it's not gonna derail me off my journey. And I'm gonna be right back at it this next week, getting back into my diet and exercise plan so that I can stay on track. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you learned anything or if you enjoyed my tips, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you guys can see my next videos. And I will see you there. Bye!